What's up Libra? This is going to be your love forecast for the first two weeks of April. This is for my Libra Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the Cross Watchers. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment. And if you're new to my channel, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that bell if you want to keep up with me as I do. Also, guys, I do offer personal readings and all the info for that is in the description box of the video. So let's get started. Spirit, what's coming in, please, for my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the area of love, first two weeks of April. Any love messages for my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, first two weeks of April. Have a look. Six of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Two of Swords. Okay. Eight of Swords, and then we've got the Emperor card. Okay, Libra, we have a situation here with a person where you feel that it's quite stuck. It's like something keeps this connection from moving forward. With the Two of Swords, there's a stagnancy here. It's like maybe someone can't make a decision. With the Six of Cups, this is someone that you could have a history with. Okay, Six of Cups, someone um, that you've been building memories with or someone from your past, and it's been difficult to move on or move forward, but it's difficult to move forward with them basically the six of pentacles to me means that it could be that there's issues here around reciprocity perhaps you feel like you know you um give too much to this situation or over invest in this situation perhaps you feel like this person breadcrumbs you um but there is something that's out of balance okay now with the eight of swords it's like it's very difficult to move on move forward um, you know, you could be dealing for some of you in a, with a person in a situation that they can't move out of. Okay, Eight of Swords, some of you, you know, very small portion of you, I hope, this is my jail card. Um, but if it's not jail, guys, Eight of Swords can just mean that there's a sense of this person, they feel like their hands are tied. For some of you dealing with um, a father or a husband figure, Otherwise, this is divine masculine energy. So this could be a divine counterpart that you're dealing with, but there's a sense of stagnancy. And, you know, the emperor in good energy is someone that really puts the work or the effort in. And I feel like something keeps this connection stuck. You could feel like this person's not putting the effort in, okay? Maybe you feel like you're putting in all the work. Tell me about the two of swords. There's a lack of clarity here. Like, where is this headed? Um, perhaps you have to make a decision as well, Libra, with that two of swords. Yeah, so there's the two of swords, Libra. So it's almost like... There's a sense of having built some memories with this person. There is some nostalgia when you think about this person. There's a sense of connection with the Six of Cups, even when it's not someone you've known a long time. That's sort of my soul soulmate card. It's like this person feels familiar to you. They feel like home. Um, but there's stagnancy in terms of moving towards what you really want, which is your Ten of Cups, which is your happily ever after family, if that's something that's on the agenda for you and the three of wands is a sense of waiting right so you've been waiting for your ships to come in there's a six of wands here so you've been waiting for the success you've been waiting for the recognition but there's a sense of stagnancy and stuckness with the hanged man it's possible this person has a family um, elsewhere aside from your connection and that could also be a factor here um, the nine of pentacles and the five of pentacles libra tells me that a lot of you are very single and available. You're very focusing on, focused on you. You're focused on maybe your career. Um, and something within this situation has you feeling disappointed or left out in the cold. Okay, but as I said, it's difficult to move on and move forward. And there is a lack of clarity. Okay, let's get a little bit more. Yeah, Knight of Swords. It could be Libra that you're you know, feeling the sense of needing now to rush forward, um, maybe make some abrupt decisions, because as I said, there's been some indecisiveness here with the Two of Swords. Um, you've been feeling maybe like, you know, should I hold on or should I move on? I do feel like with the Knight of Swords, there is a sense of wanting to maybe abruptly cut this person off or cut them away with the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords can be reckless energy as well. You could be dealing with someone that could can be a bit impulsive, um, with the Knight of Swords and, you know, um, maybe you're deciding that you, you don't want to take it anymore. Basically, let's have a look. The Moon. Yeah, there seems to be a lack of clarity. Perhaps this person, you know, um, comes in, they rush forward, they want to talk. Knight of Swords is communication energy, but maybe they don't follow through because the Moon card to me means it's like something's murky in this situation. Something hasn't been revealed. There's a sense of secrecy here. Um, and there's a queen of pentacles. Some of you are dealing with a person, um, you know, this could be another queen in the mix. This is an earth sign energy. Um, perhaps there's some, some things that haven't been revealed with, in regards to maybe an outside influence or outside energy. 
The other thing that I'm getting Libra is that you really want to focus on what's practical and right for you in this Queen of Pentacles energy and you're very hyper focused on your Ten of Cups, right? So you're getting to this stage Libra where you're like, I don't know, um, is this going to really be my Ten of Cups? Because there's Three of Swords here and then there's Nine of Cups, exactly. So Three of Swords energy. So you could be in separation from this person or starting to question whether or not you want to separate from this person. Three of Swords again could be an outside energy that's in the mix. Um, otherwise, this is about like, should I separate myself and move towards what makes me happy? Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment. I'm going to get more on this particular situation, but I do have a Two of Cups here. So I do feel like there is a soul connection here, here between you and this person, Libra, but it's almost like, um, you know, the future vision isn't matching the present, okay? With the Sun card, I think you are going to have a sense of clarity. We're going from the moon to the sun. Okay, and there is opportunity maybe for something new coming in for you, Libra, if should you decide that you want to move forward, because there is a bit of defeat here, Five of Swords. Um, let's get a little bit on this person and their feelings and intentions for you. We've got Pisces Energy, Strong Leo, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, yeah, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Strong Aries with the Emperor. Okay. So tell me a little bit, Spirit, about this person's feelings and intentions. Also, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, I've got all the signs, guys. What is this person's feelings and intentions towards Libra in the first half of April? Let's have a look. Okay, Ace of Wands. So this person has a lot of passion for you, Libra. Four of Cups. And then the Seven of Pentacles. All right, something's got this person for sure stagnant. The Seven of Pentacles means they have invested in you. They know that this hasn't reached its full potential. They definitely want to come in and renew the passion, reignite the spark. With the Four of Cups, though, um, it's either that this person's insecure, they're worried that you don't want to take their cup, or um, there's a sense of whilst they've laid a foundation with you, um, and they don't want to miss an opportunity. They're still kind of just waiting to see how things play out. Seven of Pentacles, okay? Because we've got the Magician card and we've got the Seven of Cups. Exactly. So this person's having trouble getting through the fog and the confusion in terms of what's, what they're trying to manifest here. Um, the Page of Pentacles is like they want to come in and make an offer. King of Wands, they have a lot of passion for you. So this person's driven to take some action to make an offer. Um, but they want your patience, temperance energy, and we've got the Emperor card again, okay? So what I'm getting is Libra, it's like something with timing is a factor here. Um, this person also could be healing from something else with that temperance energy, and it could be connected to, um, you know, this person could be a father or a husband or has been in some kind of another connection, as I said, with the Emperor card. Um, you know, so this person, it's almost like they want your patience because there is this confusion energy, Seven of Cups. Now, again, that could be in relation to outside um, influences. Um, yeah, let's have a look at this Four of Cups, one on the Four of Cups. Yeah, the Devil and the Five of Cups. So I do feel like, Libra, this person definitely has... Um, a lot of sadness in their past with the five of cups they also might have some regrets in terms of the way that things have played out between you and them um because you know they're seeing that there was an opportunity here two of cards which is soul connection relationship but it's like they're very focused on all the missed opportunities and all the things that haven't gone right probably outside of your connection as well um, there could be a lot of sadness and there could be things that they're just not letting go of with the devil card. Now, the devil card is also very heavy desire for you. Okay, and I get that. I think this person has a heavy sexual attraction for you. Um, but I feel like this person has a lot of um, baggage or fears when it comes to love or toxicity. Okay, so it could also be that there's someone holding on to this person too with that devil energy that can be sometimes, you know, karmic energy something that this person has to release themselves from. Um, strong Capricorn with the devil. So they do worry that they've missed an opportunity with you, which is why I think they're coming in to make an offer with the Page of Pentacles. And then there's a tower energy. Okay, so this person could be going through a tower moment, um, King of Swords, and you may get an offer um, from them where they want to express something to you quite honestly, because the King of Swords can be that sort of straight up king. Um, it's about conversations. The only thing about the King of Swords is that um, they like to play politics, 
So it could be that this person like says and does the right thing and then becomes very aloof or is flaky, right? Um, and then we've got the tower energy. So I do feel like this person may be having some kind of a tower moment. Perhaps they're also realizing that they could be missing an opportunity with you. And because they desire you, they want to come in and make this offer. But there's also a sense of what's not working within this person's life must go. Okay. And that's why timing is a factor here. Tell me about that temperance card. Eight of cups. Exactly what's not working must go. And timing is a factor because they are still in the process of leaving something else behind with that eight of cups. Okay. And the judgment card. So judgment cards that come back around. It's also a decision needs to be made. So this person might need to decide that they need to cut some things off or cut away what's not working for them. Um, this person also could be waiting for some kind of a judgment, something legal. Okay, that's for a small portion of you. Um, so there could be some heavy stuff going on for this person with the tower and the judgment card and the world. They're closing something out here um, and they know that they have to close something out and complete it before they can really move towards you for something proper and solid as an emperor, right? Okay, um, but page of swords, <laughs> but they're analyzing you heavy, okay? So I feel like this person, they must watch you a lot, watch your social media, there's a sense of not wanting to let you go, um, but they come up like a page, okay? I do feel like this person, they, they wanna have conversation with you, but the love that they're offering you is still as a page because they're sort of not, um, they're feeling like unready. I feel like this person has a lot crumbling in their life with the tower card and the devil and all this sort of heavy energy. Um, so anyway, Libra, I think you're going to get some kind of an offer from them. But I also think that um, you're sort of in this energy of trying to decide what's right for you. Um, and if this aligns with your true hopes and wishes, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you've got to take. I think this person wants to make some kind of an effort with you. But then I've got release your ex. The time has come to clear energy. So yeah, I do feel like Libra, this person may be closing something else out. Either they've been heavily affected by the past um, and it's just lingering or there's still someone hanging around. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, so let's see. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. Well, I do have um, the magician card here. So I think that this person is definitely, you know, they've been trying to manifest a new start with you, but they're also heavily weighed down by fear and whatever else is interfering. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So you're seeing red flags all over the place now, Libra. Um, yeah, I think it really, with make the effort, it's like there's a lot of effort that needs to be made in terms of on this person's part as well, letting go of things that are, you know, toxic for them, right? Um, and then we have worth waiting for, divine timing is at work in your love life. So we had temperance card come out a few times. So um, Libra, you don't have to worry about letting go of something that maybe isn't working right now, because if it's meant for you, it's gonna come back in the perfect time and, and way. Um, so just assess the energy, each situation is gonna be different. Just assess how it is when it comes in. Otherwise, Spirit's saying divine timing is at work in your love life. So all of this, it's still lining you up for what's right for you, okay? So don't worry. You might have been testing your patience because you're thinking, gosh, when is the right one going to come along? Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others, okay? So um, this person could be getting assistance from friends um, because they are dealing with something pretty heavy. They could also see you as a friend. So maybe they're going to come back to you because they want some kind of support. Um, but Libra, your focus is on reciprocity, Six of Pentacles. So don't forget to pour into your own cup and not keep pouring into a cup where it's not reciprocated equally. Okay. All right, Libra, I hope that that resonated for you. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, as I said, and I'll check in with you guys in two weeks time. Lots of love.